Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. So today I have a super exciting video because I'm going to be reviewing my perfume bestie, Michelle, aka Curly Fragrance. I'm going to be reviewing her fragrance right here. This is Attraction Fatale from Reisiger Parfums. So I'm going to be giving you guys my honest thoughts on the fragrance. Now, I have actually had this bottle for several months. And I have had Pierre wearing the fragrance like a few times here and there so that I could smell it on him. And I've also worn it myself. So I know how the fragrance wears. I know how it smells. I know how long it lasts. And I have to say before going into this video that I, you guys don't know this, but actually Michelle and I are really good friends because Michelle also lives in Dubai. So I am friends with the real curly fragrance. And I have to say that she is just as amazing as she is in her videos. She is even more amazing in person and I am so freaking proud of her. I couldn't be more proud of her for doing this on her own. Now, you guys may not know this, but a lot of perfume brands, uh, not even influencer brands, but a lot of perfume brands in general have a lot of investment. So they have like outside people or investment companies or people from the fragrance industries that are investing in their brands and influencers too, when they start a brand, sometimes they have a lot of investors to help them. Michelle did this all on her own. It's her own creative vision. It's her own everything, her own money, her own heart, her own sweat, everything she did by herself. I just wanted to mention that because I have a lot of respect for Michelle and I think that all of you watching should also have a lot of respect for her because she did this all on her own. So. Yeah, go Michelle. Let's talk about the fragrance itself. Now, because I've had it for a while, I know exactly how the fragrance smells and it is absolutely amazing. Now, just the other day I was smelling the fragrance and I was thinking, okay, what can I compare this fragrance to? I was trying to see if there was a fragrance that smells, you know, similar to Attraction Fatale. But actually you guys, when I think about it and when I, analyze the scent it is really unique and i feel like that is really really rare not even i think it is super rare to create something in 2024 that still has a uniqueness about it now with that being said you guys might order this fragrance and think that it reminds you of this specific fragrance or that specific fragrance and that's normal but i'm telling you from my collection and my experience in the fragrance industry i cannot tell you that okay, it smells exactly the same as duh, duh, duh. Like it doesn't, it has a uniqueness to it, which I think is really admirable. I'm gonna go ahead and read the notes on Sniff. Right now, Sniff is the only platform that is listing Attraction Fatale. So make sure that you go and check it out on Sniff and add it to your collection or your wish list and read the reviews. So in Attraction Fatale, you have Jasmine, Rum, Vanilla, Black Pepper, Sandalwood, Mandarin, Rose, neroli nutmeg amber musk and cedarwood so those are the notes of the fragrance and i do want to say if you're a man that's watching and you're a bit uh skeptical about buying a fragrance that has rose neroli uh, jasmine inside don't worry at all i'm going to tell you exactly how this fragrance smells and it ain't floral like this doesn't smell floral at all i would say what you get the most from attraction fatale is this incredible boozy, woody, creamy, slightly nutty fragrance. But what I get from this is a lounge type of scent. This is for the nights when you're going out to a beautiful cocktail lounge, a cigar bar. It's just gonna fit that environment so perfectly. Really, you guys, this fragrance to me is the most smooth, boozy, creamy, woody fragrance. It almost has a little touch of like tobacco in there. Like I definitely feel something a little bit tobacco-ish in here. Think of something like Tobacco Vini from Tom Ford or Jazz Club from Maison Martin Margiela. That is the type of vibe that you're gonna get with Attraction Fatale. This is sexy, this is boozy, it's creamy, it's woody, it's smooth. It is so, so smooth. There is nothing in this fragrance that really smells out of place or a little bit too aggressive in the scent. It's this really smooth, 
boozy, creamy, woody fragrance with a nice soft sweetness. For me personally, the type of occasions that I would like to smell this type of scent on a man is for a date night. Like for me, this type of boozy, smooth, sexy, woody fragrance, I love to cuddle up to and to smell on a man when we're being more intimate on a date or a night out or something where we're sitting next to each other, Attraction Fatale is going to be perfect. If you like fragrances like Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf, uh, Jazz Club from Maison Margiela, uh, I would say Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. If you like all of those type of fragrances, you will love Attraction Fatale. It has a similar vibe to those sort of scents. Smooth, creamy, boozy, woody, just absolutely spectacular. And I also wanted to quickly touch on the bottle because I think Michelle did an incredible job of her bottle design. I will show you guys here. So you can see that she did a custom cap with the stamp here, which is really, really beautifully done. The bottle is very sleek and minimal with the design on the front, of course. And I'm sure that Michelle will continue to improve her brand. And I know because I've had conversations with her that she really wants to build this brand herself. She wants to reinvest everything that she makes into making her brand better. And I just think that if you really wanted to support somebody in this community, in this industry, Michelle is a really good person. And like I said, she's doing it on her own. So I just want to say that you, you can feel good about who you are giving your money to, because I know that the fragrance is not necessarily cheap. Uh, it is an expensive scent, but you can know that she's going to reinvest it and make her brand uh, as good as she can. And I also wanted to tell you guys that this, the um, atomizer, you can see, whew, is really good as well. So that is my quick little review of Michelle's fragrance, Attraction Fatale from Rising of Farms. I'm so proud of you, Michelle. I hope that you're watching this video. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of Michelle. She did an amazing job. And like I said, if you want to support her, I really, you should support her. She did an incredible job and I can't wait to see what she's working on next. Maybe I've already smelled it.